So packing them around the racetrack. You saw a little track prep taking place. They had to Lully Rotera out there. Kind of dicing it up a little bit, break up that little bit of black that was taking place on the top, the slickness. They're having them pack it in right now, and there it is. One to go from a starter stand. James Hill on the inside, the Laurel, Delaware runner. Ryan Baker to the outside out of Barnesville, Ohio. 12 states represented here tonight for the Mod Lights. 40 cars in attendance. We got it whittled down to these top 24 as we get set to go. Green Hill down on the inside. Baker to the outside. Quick in the pace down the back straightaway. So we'll tighten them up and get ready to cut them loose. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's time to drop the Hama. Tempest in a teapot. Now turn number one and two. Watch them three wide back in the field onto the back straightaway. Hang on to it. Stepped out and around goes the number one car. Or not the number one car. The sister car the number one car, rather. As Bo Bass also adventuring around up against the fence down there. The 41B car, he was back in the number 23 spot. Is now checking out the uh, arc of the wall back there. 21 car sitting out there. Rod Jones was quick earlier on as well. One to watch and fun to watch. As the green flag is set to fly one more time. 20 laps still the distance, we're underway. Yep. Look out, 47 car, something broke on a 47 car and that baby pirouetted around like a hog on ice down here on the front straightaway. Caution flag's gonna come out, I'm pretty sure he's dead in the water. So I don't know what's, well, there it's going, but something locked up on that. I don't know if he grabbed a gear or what the deal was right there, but there was nobody around him. Back end just kind of pivoted out from underneath of him. So here we go. Green flag set to fly up front on the point. James Hill, Ryan Baker now sitting back in the number two spot. It's our third attempt at a start here for the Mod Lights. They are ready and raring to go. Looking for a big win out here with USAC. The heroes of the non-wing sprint world down into pits right now as we got them three wide back in the field. Single foul start, but three wide. Turn number one and two, one off the pace already. He's a 9-9-T, a Tyler Riggs shuts down on the back straightaway. He's looking for the infield. We're staying green up front. Well, he missed his entrance. Caution flag comes out again. Tyler Riggs. New Matta Morris, Ohio runner in the 99 T car. So that lap will count. We'll put that lap in the books. So here we go. Try one more time. James Hill still on that number one spot. And this one lap at a time thing, this way of doing it, not working so much for Hill. He'd like to get up and go, put spurs to it. Get the bit in his teeth and head for the barn. Here we go. Green flag one more time. Fire down into the corner. Little better look to it that time around. It's down in turn number three and four they go. Down on the inside, here comes 6J and Joe Isabel. Isabel digging his way up into the number four spot. Got a good run down the back straightaway. Able to get to the inside of the number 21 of Rod Jones. Jones shuffle back on the field. A little side-by-side -side action back behind is the 99 car blazing around there as well. Up front, trying to check out on him. James Hill has got his foot to the bat right now, the number one car, and almost a full straightaway lead over the number three, rolling into number two spot. Jeremy Isabel working her tight to the tires down, turn number one and two. Little company, little contact, but a little chaos is up and over, goes the 21 car. Rod Jones got her kicked sideways and made contact down the corner, clipped the apron, and just that quick capsized the unit. As the red flag comes out. So we're set to go back to green that quickly. 21 car cleared off the track, Rod Jones. As the field is set to come back to life, grabbing the gears. Sequential shifters down the front straightaways here. Um, clutchless. So we'll tighten them up, tickling the tail feathers down in the corner right there. Battle for the number three spot back behind. Everybody's able to continue on. A little two wide action through the field. So here comes the 99, Josh May looking around the outside. Here comes May out of turn number four. Big run down the front straightaway, trying to get around the number six car of Joe Isabel. Isabel down low on the racetrack, May working. No man's land up there about. Oh, let's call it four car widths off the bottom for the 99 car. Watch the big run down into turn number three. 
stays on the gas. Jackson cracks it onto the front straightaway, and unfortunately, not able to catch up the 6A car, who incidentally just made a move and picked off the number 18 car, Ryan Baker, as Baker continues to work his way backward through the field. Baker currently scored fourth on the field, fifth right now, still Josh May looking around the outside. Here comes May, slinging her into the corner. He's got something happening. He'll go to the number four spot with that little move around the outside. May trying to run his way down to those front positions. James Hill, the Laurel Delaware runner, currently sitting on the point in the number one car, followed closely by the number three of Jeremy Isabel. Isabel trails by about three car lengths down the front straightaway. And then you got a little bit of a gap back to the number six car of Joe Isabel. And then behind him, Josh May running fourth on the field. May, the only one that has broken out of formation. Everybody else falling into footsteps up front. But if you want to lead, you can't follow. That's exactly what Josh May is doing right now. Back behind, a great battle taking place for fifth or sixth on the field, rather. Is down on the inside. The number 64 car has got his nose up and hammered down. Randy Bryan firing her down to the inside, tight to the tire. Turn number one and two, able to move into the number six spot on a racetrack. Is up front, your race leader is going to run down a little bit of lap traffic. In the first one, it's going to be fodder is Michael Kelly. Here come the big guns. Way low on the racetrack. Kelly got the move over flag. He keeps it wide to the outside. So laps continue to dwindle. 11 laps remain. As we got nine laps scored into books right now as your front runners onto the front straightaway. Still in hot pursuit. The number three car slicing his way out. Jeremy Isabel is close. So close. He's almost able to get a hold of James Hill. Hill up front, however. Continues to maintain the lead down the back straightaway into three and four. Third position, still the number six J car, Joe Isabel, followed by Josh May in a 99 car. Those top four have broken away from fifth position, currently being occupied by the number 64 car of Randy Bryan, who had started 10th on the field. There's one more lap, falls by the wayside. A little move over flag coming out right there for the number 46 car of Joel Huggins. As Huggins keeps it about car width and half off the bottom, gives the race leader just enough room to squirt through down on the inside. And James Hill capitalizing on that number one starting spot, it's continuing to lead around here. He's actually extended a little bit over the number three car. Jeremy Isabel still hanging tough. The caution flag comes out for two around down to turn number two. It's much to his chagrin, the number 44, the purple people eater down there, Bill Lewis. Or I'm sorry, Mike Flockersey, rather around down there. Grisham, the 46 car, dropping to the tail of the field, or Joel Huggins, rather, in the 46 car, dropping to the tail of the field there, tags on. So we tighten them up down the back straightaway. Eight laps remain for this 20-lap feature event. 12 laps scored into books. Here comes the green flag, and away we go. Good battle up front, good challenge right there. Uh-oh, trouble on the back straightaway. Little Caterpillar action back there, and unfortunately, it caught the last car in the field. And he is around facing into oncoming traffic, so caution flag quickly coming back out again with these eight laps remaining. He's up front, James Hill continues to lead, setting the pace on him, green flag comes out. We're underway. Better start that time. Josh made a bit of a battle right now around the outside, the number 99 cart, that line Working up off the bottom middle of the racetrack for the number 99 car. Leaves himself open on a restart. However, it's working very well for him. At distance, it was built up by Joel Isabel. And the 6J car is now null and void. As here comes Josh May. Good run coming out turn number two. Be a challenge for the number three spot this time at turn number three and four. Watch May run her deep down into the corner. Bring her onto the front stretch. 99 car looking around the outsides. Not quite there just yet, but he's going to get a twofer before it's all said and done. Just ahead of him, the number three of Jeremy Isabel. As the two Isabels run and nose the tail down the back straightaway, occupying second and third, but May's got a plan. Here he comes. It's a 6J car, slides up high on the racetrack, takes a little bit of that lane away, trying to kill his momentum. Not going to happen for him, however. May goes to the number three spot that time across the stripe as the laps continue to dwindle. Five laps to go, just a handful remain for your race leader up front, James Hill has got to run away and hide because there's a hornet's nest coming behind that battle for second, third, and fourth on the racetrack. And the sixth car, too strong, coming off the bottom, shuts the door on May. Moves up around the outside right now. 3J car just ahead of him. Jeremy Isabel. It's the Isabels. 
So far able to hold off the former national champ, May. Down on the inside, however, is going to get that number three spot away. Coming out, turn number four down the front straightaway. Gets a little shot in the shorts for the effort, however. Zizbel of the 6J variety came up there and gave a little blast to the pass as they exited. This time, May caught to the outside. We'll see twin sticks coming out. Two laps to go. This time by for your race leader up front, James Hill. He's opened up a bit of a gap right now over the number three car, Jeremy Isabel. Behind him, the 6J car of Joe Isabel. Still trails the number three spot. Josh May may be mired in fourth on the fields. We're going to get the white flag this time by. We'll see if May has any more tricks in his pocket right now. There it is. White flag comes out for your race leader. One more time around Bubba Raceway Park. Fifth position back behind. Watching on the number 64 car. Was able to race his way up through, but that's as far as it went for him. This checkered flag set to come out. Here comes your race winner, James Hill, the Laurel Delaware runner. Picking up the double checkers here on night number one of the Winter Dirt Nationals at Bubba Raceway Park. Or Winter Dirt Games, rather, at the Bubba Raceway Park. As that'll do it. Second spot. He's going to go to the number three, Jeremy Isabel. And Joe Isabel rounds out those top three. race fans let him hear you james hill picking up the win here tonight